do this. Rivera does charge forward. Steps back briefly. This is an early low kick. Bond again, hasn't been in there in eight years. Probably going to take him a little bit to feel out the pace, the distance. I would think uh, somebody like that, you might want to press him early, right? See if uh, you know, their timing's a little bit off. Well, he was showing a lot of control, a lot of calmness. Yeah, you can really see the focus in Oliver's eye. Referee calls for action. But Bun on the outside looks like he's maybe waiting to counter punch right away. Oliveira not pushing right. Stiff left from Oliveira. Charges in though. Bun was ready for it. Nice knee, but Bun pushes him back. But Bun's going to dive into top position with Oliveira underneath in full closed guard. Bun controlling on top. You see Oliveira working that left leg high. Working into kind of a rubber guard position. Really just kind of controlling on that side. Not really threatening over there with that left leg. Bun wipes away a little blood from his mouth. He continues to pummel away from top position. You see Oliveira working that closed guard underneath and, and wrapping up. Really not trying to transition or threaten, is he, is he Hoist? Just kind of wrapping up, maybe hoping for a standoff? It's kind of slow action. <laughs> Bun. Bun says he'll force the action a little bit. A nice slam down. You see Oliveira on the bottom just really wrapping up the arms. Bun steps over. Looks like the referee wants to stand this fight back up, but Bun is staying relatively active on top. Bun continues to uh, work away from the top. I think the referee's going to stand this up. Doesn't like it. Jorrinho's plays very calm. I like his style. Does look very relaxed right now. Fight is a little too patient, though. You might see some aggression okay. from both. It's the first round. They're feeling each other out. Plus, they're not that young anymore. Come on. <laughs> That's they right. Got, they got to take their time. We got 10 more minutes left to go tonight. Pushing in from the outside. Knee missed there. That could have been a home run shot. Wisely pulled away. Again, very patient. Neither fighter wants to commit. Not sure if they're both looking to counter. Or That's a nice takedown, setting up in top position. Let's see what Cabellini can do now from the top position. Oliveira underneath, very patient. One wants to drop some heavy damage. That's it. Both players are very patient. Both, both comfortable, I think, but neither really really yeah. gaining an, an offensive really we advantage. might not see from here but there's a lot of going on in there so. see bun on top a lot of times they try to frustrate the opponent so there's a lot of that sometimes now cabelo is feels i mean looks very aggressive yeah he's when he's he on top to he's unleashing those over. punches those aren't little short rabbit punches are they these are great heavy shots Continuing to punch away here in the final moments of the opening round. Yeah, he wants to get his yeah. thing over, man. Oh, a diving right hand there just misses. That could have been deadly. Instead, Oliveira now going to control from the back. Trying to sweep the leg out there. See Bun just kind of ducking his head through and still gets punched. Referee doesn't like that action, though, obviously. Probably going to get a little bit of a warning there for sticking his head through the ropes. Final seconds of the opening round. 
Juan tries to leap over the right. Oh, he gets tagged with a counter right. Oliver with a well-timed counter shot. Back and forth opening round there, boys. What'd you think about the uh, first five minutes of action? Yeah. They're feeling each other out. Now we're going to see what they can do in the second round. Yeah. Here was a stiff left there by Cavalino. Both had good moments. It was, uh, I think, the end of the round here. There was a nice uh, nice work from both fighters, I think, on the ground. Both had their moments in the stand-up game. I think it's a very even opening round. I think both can be fairly pleased with that first five minutes. Chuto Brazil Bope will be right back here on HTNet, your home for MMA. We'll be back with more HTNet fights. Chuto Brazil, fight for Bope. I think so as well. I think, that, I think he was. Not much. I agree. I think he was the attacker there. Yeah, Yo, Hilde Oliveira, the more experienced fighter, certainly looked very calm and relaxed in there, but sometimes calm and relaxed just doesn't get it done. Especially sometimes, in the judges' sometimes, eyes. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes they're waiting for the second, third round. You know, like I said, they're not that young anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so they got to save some energy. Talking about not that young, Cavalino taking a few more seconds over there in the corner. Cavalino bun to, uh, to return to action. Referee lets him know, get up. We got to do this. It's time for round two. All right, so very even opening round. We think Cavalino might have taken it, but uh, could go either way. Cavalino opens up right away there. Oh, and a nice flurry early. Oliveira shows the experience, tries to get it to the ground, but instead it's Cavalino on top. Oliveira on the bottom, closed guard, tight, tight body lock, really just not allowing any room whatsoever. Very patient, like you said, could be very strategic, but unlike when, you know, the no time limit days of your youth, you gotta win rounds, right? That's true, you gotta play the rules. Oliver again on the bottom, just staying very tight and uh, gonna get a stand-up. I guess perhaps that's what he was after, although Cavalino has looked pretty solid on his feet as well. So on the restart, oh, nice left hand followed up by a right. That's why Yohil Oliveira wanted to be on the feet. Another right hand scores. Cavalino wiping away a little blood on his nose. Nice. Oh, great. That was a perfect timing to get in the clinch. Really was. Yohil Oliveira dove in with a punch, and uh, Cavalino saw it coming and ducked underneath, put the fight on the floor. Again, last time we were in this position, we saw Oliveira. Really just working at close guard, looking for the stand-up. He's a little bit more active this time, punching from underneath. I think Joe Hughes smells the blood. No, he connect a couple punches. So he's going after. I agree. I think Geraldo was, uh, Cavalino was really rocked there from a couple of those punches. Kind of let him recover at this point. We hear the pro Nova Unia crowd here. Uh, Cheering their boy on from top position. They, they have been happy so far. Oh, big right hand just misses from the top for Cavalino. See more and more blood kind of, maybe it's just kind of smearing around there. I don't know if it's opening up anymore, but really smearing around the face of Cavalino in top position. And he's landing some uh, heavy leather from the top, and, and now that blood's kind of all over the chest of Oliveira as well. Gonna get a stand up there, Oliveira was trying to get to his feet. We're gonna get a timeout for the referee. Looks like he does want to check those cuts. Again, we could see while he I was got, on the ground, the blood was really spreading around. Even though he got blood coming out of his nose, he's not backing down. No, not at all. And I think the stuff around his eye is just kind of what spread around. Doesn't look like there's any real serious cuts. Yeah, just from his nose, nothing more. And uh, doesn't look like the nose is broken. He doesn't seem to be wincing. It doesn't seem to be misshapen in any way. So I think he's gonna, uh, I think we're going to see a continuation here, right? It's, just, it's a good time to rest right now. <laughs> That's right. Them extra Let the break. veterans get an extra <laughs> breath in there. Let them relax a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong hey, with I'm, that. I'm older than this guy. Than this guy. I know how he feels. Come on. We saw the, the uh, replay here. You saw there was the left and then the right. And uh, Cavalino was in a lot of trouble there. And uh, I think... Just got a little bit aggressive, did Oliveira, and, and that's what allowed Cavalino to get him to the ground and lets it heavy leather his top. 
And uh, doctor's taking a long look at this. Oliveira. Sure, he'll not complain. The guy got ice on his neck. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, he's getting a recovery. I thought I had him rock. So we're back to action here in round two. Oliveira. Oh, caught him in the cup right away. That'll teach him to take a break. <laughs> now you can take a break. <laughs> you want a reason? You want a reason to take a break? I'll give you a reason. I'll give you a reason to take a break. <laughs> We're going to assume that was unintentional. But this was a wild, crazy, kind of a <laughs> reckless maneuver. And sure enough, that was just an accident. <laughs> oh, that was dirty. Again, I, I think it was unintentional by Oliveira, but certainly it was a direct hit nonetheless. And uh, we see Geraldo Cavalino Bun in some pain, is working back to his feet. Now, of course, he has up to five minutes to recover. We can't really check the injury, but uh, he doesn't want it. He's back to action right away. Oliveira again in the center of the ring. Low kick again right away. Camelino with an intense look in his eyes. Oliveira with a missed spinning kick there, getting creative. Oh, another combination rocks his opponent. Oliveira swinging wildly, a nice knee up the middle. Cavalino's in trouble. He hit the deck, and Oliveira is swarming with punches. Cavalino in guard. Cavalino does have the close guard. He did slow things down a little bit, but I think he was rocked a second time in this fight. He's just killing time right now, just wrapping his opponent so he can let the time go by and try to yeah. over. Smart work trying to recover on the bottom of Cavalino. Now actually setting up an arm bar, but. The veteran like yeah, Oliveira saw that coming out. The knee bar. He's on. Oliveira gets out, and as Cavalino rises, we see the blood all over his face. Uh, it has gotten even worse from those recent blows. Oliveira extremely patient. You see the blood all over the ropes in the corner over there. Just a nasty scene from the carnage. Oliveira, again, using that very tight body lock in a beautiful trip to end up in top position. Cavalino, you can see him wincing his eyes there. The blood has really started to flow. We're going to get, I think, another timeout to check those cuts yet again. Yeah, and I think this is a good call from the referee. You could really see as he was in bottom position, the blood was going directly into his eye. Oliveira uh, is not happy with the stoppage, but I think he's going to get the win. Yeah, and that's going to be it. Yeah, Oliveira was a little frustrated. thought he was going to get uh, more time for his opponent to rest, but that cut, the blood was going right into his eye. And, of course, Royce, you just can't fight when, when the blood's coming into your eye, correct? That was a good stop. Absolutely. So the veteran, Yohil de Oliveira, picks up his 15th career win. We talked about the struggles that he's gone through. He went through some struggles tonight. He had a couple stoppages for cuts. He actually uh, kicked his opponent in the groin, and he was a little frustrated with all the breaks that his opponent was receiving. But uh, Geraldo Bun, Cavalino in his first fight in eight years, will come up a little bit short as Yohil de Oliveira earns the second round TKO via cut. And again, like you said, Hoyce, just a good stoppage. The, the first uh, the first time they looked at it, it was just a little blood in the nose. Second time, it was running down into the eye. You see the blood still uh, all over Yohil de Oliveira as well. as uh, a t-shirt to wipe him off a little bit. Clean him, at least clean him up a little bit before he gets his moment in the sun, right? So they're going to leave the blood on him. Let's take it up to Maya Tone for the official call.